Hi there, this is Grooving in G, and welcome back to my bite sized tutorial series for Audio Finder. Today I'm going to be talking about the sample extractor and how you can use it to organize any old sample CDs you have, which come in this long file format you can see here. Some of these old sample CDs, especially the Zero G data file one, have such good content on them, and you really want to be able to get into the individual samples rather than these long files. Audio Finder's actually got this amazing function which is called the Sample Extractor HD. Now, this is located in Process and you've also got it in Process at the top. So you just select the audio file and then go to Process, Sample Extractor. Now, when I have been using this, I've just been doing all purpose for synths and loops as a generic preset to use. And it's been working great. So. If I clicked OK here, what it's going to do is it's going to process this file and it's going to put it into my processing output folder. So one thing you want to understand here is that once you've uh, you've extracted this original break, you probably want to delete all the original files. So a good workflow here could be to show in Finder and to find out where all these files are from. So this one, if I go now show in Browser, this is showing me the file where I've got all of these samples from this old data file CD. The best way I think to do this is to select a designated folder to be your processing output folder and then to extract all of them into that folder and then you can delete all the ones in here. So what I'm going to do now is just go onto my hard drive where I've got some space and go and create a file called sample CD um, 0 G. and this is going to be my destination so the easiest way I know to set something as your processing output folder is to just drag a file into it go into this file in audio finder and then right click the file and hit make processing output folder now this will make this folder turn into your processing output folder it's a bit of a strange workflow you can now delete that audio file out um, and then you can go back using the icon at the top to retrace your steps and get back to where you were before. So a bit of a strange workflow there, but that's the quickest way I know of doing it. So now it's actually very quick to do this. If I select this whole lot of files and I go process sample extractor HD, I could leave it on your last use, but if I go all purpose synths and loops and just click OK, it's going to smash these out in no time. And you can now see in this folder, if I open one of these files and then go show in browser, I've now got all these files nicely chopped up. So what you can do then is select this whole bunch of files, right click, rename, and then find the zeros. And you could come here and go replace text, find the three zeros and replace them with nothing and then rename and it's going to rename this whole file and get rid of all the zeros so now if I come back into audio finder and hit refresh you can see all the zeros are gone and they're a little bit easier to read these these files so there you have it you've now got your old sample CD nicely chopped up into all the individual hits ready for you to use as you would a modern day sample pack nice well thanks for listening and catch you soon on my channel